Morning everybody. This is probably going to be, I'll call it a special report. I'm going to uh, post this um, ASAP for those of you that are um, interested in purchasing in the villages in the future. Uh, just to give you an update of some new progress that's been happening with more land purchase uh, called the Village of Westlake. It's the deal that started probably six months ago with Leesburg and uh, what it was they had some property that was built, that was set aside to be an industrial park that never came through and they approached our developer about possibly selling it to him and they've been negotiating ever since and they're getting closer and closer to finalizing the deal here's the latest report by the way Hope this map comes out okay on this. This is the first time I've ever done it this way. Here's the uh, county line. On this side of the line is Sumter County, and this side of the line is Lake County. So this new property here, the villages of Westlake, they're calling it right now, that's going to be in Lake County. So you'll have Lake County amenities, I would think. Uh, property taxes there, I don't know how it is compared to Sumter County. All these little things you have to take in consideration if you're thinking of buying property possibly over there in the future. Let me read a little bit of the report here. It says, Leesburg commissioners voted to extend a due diligence period on a 1,127 acre parcel of land the city is selling to the village's developer. The due diligence period on the land located north of County Road 470. Here's 470 right here, coming up. Was supposed to end August the 8th, but according to the memo sent to the commissioners, from City Managers Al Minner, there are four issues that aren't quite resolved. A consumption use permit for the villages and Leesburg, completing the mineral rights escrow, completing a general government services agreement for roads, parks, recreational buildings, fees, fire service, etc. A sanitary sewer franchise agreement. So those are four, four or five of the things that they they want to um, um, get settled before. A anyway, this is all part of the negotiation of lands. I'm sure they've done it many, many, many times. Uh, see, they, they agreed to extend the due diligence period until September 21st. Uh, Manor said both parties are in agreement that the remaining four items can be handled by them with the closing date on the property still set for October the 8th. Monday's action also officially modified the size of the property being purchased by eliminating 531 acres south of County Road 470. Minister said that area needs to be retained as a spray field until the villages is ready to accept 6 million gallons of water, reused water per day on a yearly basis. Currently he said the villages can accept that much uh, reuse water and use it, its operations for about nine months about uh, out of the year, including peak season. So the acreage on the south side of County Road 470 will be used to spray effluent during that time period. I'm not really sure what that is, spray. It sounds like to me they're wanting to take reused water. I don't know what that really is and they want to spray fields with it. Anyway, I guess we'll find out all about that in the future. There might be people on my channel here that knows exactly what that is and in the uh, comment box down there, maybe they can explain to us what that is. That give back of those acreages is critical to make the deal work, to enable us to sell the north side land, Minner said, adding that about 3,000 homes can be built on, on the 1,127 acres as opposed to the original calculations of upwards of 4,000 homes are talking about on the original proposed land purchase. The current deal is for $7,000 an acre, which amounts to more than 7.8 million, but Minner said roughly 3.3 million. Whoops, I lost my picture here. Let me get that back up there. 
uh, so 3.3 million of that amount has to go back to the Federal Environmental Protection Agency. With the spray field issue in mind, many wrote the village's developer has asked that after closing on the property, a restrictive covenant be placed on the land to protect the developer's interest as a result of them accepting reuse water over nine months of the year the covenant would have a cap of 20 years so there you go whether you understand it all or don't understand it all or that's where they're that's where they're at today uh, see if I can kind of give you a general idea of where we're at there I'm looking for Four there, 468, okay. Here's 44, just so you know. There is Brownwood, right there, the square. This is Highway 44, there's the square. This is a golf cart trail, right here. That dotted line going down through there. That's where the bridge is gonna come out, right there by Brownwood, the uh, golf cart bridge to connect everybody. And this golf cart trail, it's probably not all built, but they'll get this golf cart tail connected all the way over through Southern Oaks, and then it'll connect, if they buy this property, which they probably will, it'll connect here and take you on into there. 468 comes, let me do this again. Where's 44? Here's 44. So this is Rohan and the shopping center all over here. And so you take 460, yeah, this would be Morse Boulevard here. And when you cross 44, Morse Boulevard becomes 468. I heard they're going to change all this to Morse Boulevard before it's over with. We'll see. You cross the toll road on 468. And you come on over here. And um, somewhere over in here is, uh, it might be only even further, is Finney. The Finney area. The Soto area. And uh, so it kind of gives you an idea of what they're at. This whole blue area here is Southern Oaks. It's a huge area. I don't even know if they've even started uh, developing homes there yet. They got roads in and things like that, I believe. Or, or they started putting roads in. So right there it is. That's the next new development in the villages when they get all this done. And we're talking years down the road. We're talking probably five, six years before all this is fairly well developed. So we're probably talking, oh, I don't know, probably if they get that purchased, by the time they purchase this, I'm just gonna simply say two to three years down the road, they'll go over here and start pushing dirt, putting in roads, and uh, all the amenities you're gonna need. So there's the latest update on, on the new property they're looking to buy. I hope the map this way kind of helps you a little bit to give you an idea where you're at. Until then, I'll say have a good day and I'll see you all on the other side.